For years, we've been hearing of the boom in popularity of craft breweries in the Bay Area. But now, as ABC Action News reporter Bill Logan tells us, there's a new craft in town. And local distillers, well, they're hoping to put St. Petersburg on the craft spirits map. You're looking at the evolution of the still. Made famous by moonshiners in the woods and prohibition-era bootleggers, the distillation of spirits has come a long way to the state-of-the-art facility now open in the burgeoning arts and crafts district just west of Tropicana Field. The folks at St. Petersburg Distillery, it's a logical place to park their pots and products in what is becoming a truly homegrown zone already populated with breweries and galleries. The future is bright for craft spirits. Uh, I think the future is bright for just about anything that's crafted and locally produced. John Wisely is on the sales side of things and points to the old St. Pete line of liquors that has been flying off the shelves at local stores as proof, if you will, that there's a big market for small batch booze. Still, the plans here are to stay steady. Begin small and, and become and grow with scale. To do that, production will have to ramp up, but the process will need to be slow, just as the distillation is. Start out with the state of Florida, and then move to the southeast, and eventually we would like to be national. National distribution, yes, but not national sourcing of the stuff that goes into this home-honed hooch. In a nod to the continued growth of locally located raw materials for the craft movement, all of the elements for what goes in these bottles is coming from farms within an hour's drive or so. They say it sure saves on the fuel costs. But we also have a desire to support our own state's agriculture and to support local farmers and local businessmen that are making their living off the agricultural business of Florida. And they're all really good products. And local liquor lovers have been responding, which makes those who make their living selling such stuff excited about the future of the old St. Pete brand. Everybody who tastes it, you know, really likes the style of, of what they're doing. Uh, so I think it will stand the test of time. In St. Petersburg, Bill Logan, ABC Action News.